All right, back once again, and today I'm going to be walking you through the process of upgrading the RAM on your A-Series sampler. Now, for those that don't know, uh, the A-Series samplers come stock with 4 megs of memory, which equates to roughly about 23 seconds of sampling time, and then double that in mono sampling. Um, if you're coming from a software standpoint and you're thinking about buying an A-Series sampler and you're on the fence whether or not... Uh, 23 seconds is enough sampling time. You know, I can tell you, certainly a lot of great music has been made with much, much less. And uh, I used to have an A4000 for years that I used with just the stock memory. And as long as you're being creative with your sampling time, you can certainly make a lot of great music with it. Um, how do you verify how much RAM is installed in one of these units? That's really easy to do. All you got to do is hit record and F1. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And let me go ahead and explain this. Right here, you're going to see how much RAM is installed. There's the stock four megabytes of RAM. The bottom where it says remain 23 seconds, that's total remaining time available. And that's in stereo. Now at the top here, where it says record, that's 23 seconds of continuous recording. Let me explain. Today I'm going to be upgrading this unit with 128 megs of memory. Now that's going to give me roughly 25 minutes of mono sampling or about 12 and a half minutes of stereo sampling. Now that doesn't mean I can have 12 and a half minutes of continuous stereo sampling. And the reason for that is the A series samplers will cap you out at 6 minutes and 20 seconds of continuous stereo sampling. And that's if you have 64 megabytes of memory installed. So today I'm going to be upgrading this with 432 meg SIMs, which is going to give me a grand total of 128. So regardless of the fact that I have 128 megs installed, I'm still capped out at that bundled 64 megs, which gives me 6 minutes and 20 seconds of continuous stereo sampling. If you were to just install a 32 meg SIM, that's going to give you roughly 3 minutes and 10 seconds of stereo sampling. So if sampling time is important to you, please keep that in mind. Now as far as RAM is concerned, this is the stuff that I've purchased online. And you can get this off any specialty shop. You can get it off Reverb. You can also get it off eBay, like I did. Um, this is old new stock. As you can see, it's Yamaha branded. And yeah, this stuff is not cheap. Um, obviously, we're dealing with antiquated technology. You know, this old RAM is harder and harder to find. So obviously, you're going to have people out there that are going to be jacking up the price for this old RAM. Um, one thing I did want to mention, by the way, is if you're thinking about upgrading your A-Series sampler with more than 132 meg SIM, do yourself a favor and try to buy matched pairs. And the reason I say that is because if you're running unmatched SIMs, chances are you're going to be running into incompatibility issues. It's happened to me in the past, and I would hate for that to happen to you. So if you want to avoid a headache, do yourself a favor and try to buy matched pairs. Now, with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. I'm going to remove the stock RAM and go ahead and replace it with the new RAM. And I'll do that in just a second. All right, so now that the unit's open, as you can see, there are four memory slots. And uh, this is the stock RAM that comes bundled with the unit. So in order to remove this, it's quite easy. All you got to do is pull on these tabs on the side here and my suggestion is to pull one first and the ones on the side here are a little bit harder to get to all you got to do is use a screwdriver or a kitchen knife like I'm using and it pops right out and all you got to do is pull them out so I'll do the same for this one so pull that and then pull this back and there you go now the next thing we're going to do is just go ahead and install the new RAM. So same thing, 
quite easy. As you can see, there's a notch here, and you want to match that up with the center. So let's go ahead and do that. And you want to wiggle that in until it's nice and centered and really simple. Just pull back, and it'll snap into place. There you go. So we'll do the same for this one. There we go. And there you have it, 128 megs of new memory installed. All right, so now that the RAM is installed, let's go ahead and verify that everything's working correctly. So I'm going to hit record, and then F1. And as you can see here, there's your 128 megs of memory installed, 760 seconds of total recording time, which equates to about 12 and a half minutes of stereo sampling and continuous recording time is 380 seconds which equates to about 6 minutes and 20 seconds of stereo sampling and that's pretty much it so uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care